doing? I'm harnessing the sun's power and I'm, I'm leaving off grid. That's it. I have got the ultimate off grid power source for your camper van, your RV, your motorhome, camping, even at home. We can power the house off this thing. Oh, the Bluetti power station is in the back of the car and we're going to get it out. We're going to have a look at it and see what it actually does. This is part of it. Oh. So this one is going to be the batteries. And this is actually going to be, I believe, the AC300 power unit. Um, now this hasn't actually got a battery in itself. It's just like a big inverter and where all the magic happens. So this is what's actually going to power the complete unit. So yeah, the 300S is the actual battery. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure. You know it's serious. Have a look at just just have a look in the top of the box. Oh, look at that! That means business, doesn't it? That. It's a bit like my car charger, doesn't it? That. So that is our battery. And then this is the actual brains, as such. Oh. Now, so this is the AC500, not the 300. Okay then. So this is the AC500. What are you doing? I'm harnessing the sun's power and I'm, I'm leaving off grid. That's it. I have got the ultimate off grid power source for your camper van, your RV, your motorhome, camping, even at home, we can power the house off this thing. Big, isn't it? Well, I thank you. <laughs> um, so, no joke, no joke. We can put three kilowatts of solar panel power into this to charge our batteries. This is a three kilowatt battery that we've got. I'm like Darth Vader. I should stop that, shouldn't I? Really, I'll turn that off. I'm wasting. I'm wasting the energy of the world here. Um, so five kilowatts of output so we can power five kilowatts of power um simultaneously individual items anything up to five kilowatts come on then give us a clue what's the kettle let me have a look so on our display i can put that on put the kettle on and it will then tell me what the load of the watt is so kettle three kilowatts so even the kettle we can uh, run we can run the microwave it will actually go up to about eight kilowatts so if you've got something that's a big hydro or there's a big surge of power uh, it will go up to eight kilowatts but for constant output um, five kilowatts we can even plug in and go straight into our house power unit so oh, we can run that. run our house your electric car i can charge your electric car your caravan your rv your motorhome it doesn't matter we can power it the perfect thing with this and what we're going to be using this for is actually for camping and caravanning rv motorhome in off-grid completely we can be complete self-sufficient so if you're going touring around um europe uk it doesn't matter where you're going we can be completely self-sufficient we can fill the roof up with solar panels to charge this back up we can put as many batteries six batteries 18 kilowatts of power we could have obviously the more power um batteries that we put on there the heavier it's going to get so you've just got to balance it and figure out what you're going to use power wise and then what you need to supply it so we can put five kilowatts of power in this to charge it back up so um we can charge this very very quickly sort of within an hour theoretically and um, there is talk and i've seen it and i've not seen it for myself that you can actually go to one of the car charging points and charge this via that i don't know that for sure but that's what i've heard you um, need an adapter, yeah you need the adapters and what have you um, it will take up to three kilowatts or 150 volts of solar panels um, to charge these up so again 
it's just then working out how many solar panels that you need for how many batteries that you've got. Now the top part hasn't got a battery. This is just literally the inverter section of it. So this is just our output um, for the power. So whether we're using DC, so our 12 volt, we've got USB chargers here. Um, so whether you're going camping, uh, caravanning, motorhoming, RVing, it doesn't matter. Uh, we've got you covered on all of the different outlets. And what the ideal scenario with this is that you'd mount this inside of the caravan. You'd have this accessible from one of your outside lockers and we'll do a little setup afterwards. Um, so that then you can either plug your caravan in, plug your electric car in, um, it's got so many different possibilities and that's what our full video review is going to do is sort of show you a few different scenarios of how you can use this, what different scenarios, what different settings. So this is just today, just a brief overview of the Bluetti AC500 with the B300S battery um, and roughly what you can do with it. So on the top we've got two phone charging outlets um, so wireless charging capabilities. So we can charge up to two phones on the top of this. Obviously your phone's not gonna take a huge amount of power. We've got four watts being put into the phone at the minute. Um, we can power anything up to five kilowatts, as I say, so fans, heating, um, so lots of different applications. We've got our USB sockets. So truly off grid capabilities with this. It's all pure sign out wave as well. So if we've got laptops or delicate equipment, we can plug those in. Um, 13, so basically, so uh, electronics where you've got like your PC, your laptop, anything that's quite delicate and got little different microprocessors and chips in that. Uh, when we plug in, we're not gonna damage anything like that. So again, either in the caravan, the motorhome, once we've powered through this, everything is then protected via this. So um, one, two, three, four, five, 13 amp outlets, and we've got the 32 amp outlet there. So that, like I say, we can actually plug this in at home. If we've got a power cut, if we've got any problems like that, we could actually just power the house completely off grid with, as I say, up to 18 kilowatts of batteries. Um, so bang all your solar panels in there, charge it with Tesla, charge it with your electric car. The, the possibilities are endless. They are expensive. So this is very much a either a full off-grid living, full off-grid camping, RVing, camping, etc. Um, but it just opens the possibilities up so that you can go anywhere that you want and you're going to have power no matter what the situation. As I say, full review coming up soon and we'll use it and put it to actual proper use instead of just our little rigs here it's getting hot so it's time to cool down thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video i'm mark at the caravan place don't forget hit the subscribe button hit the like button we'll see you in the next video